Hello guys, I'm Urban Fox Gamer and today I'll be showing you a tutorial on 3DS Max. Let's duplicate this two times. Like so. First this is gonna be a different car. This one is going to be sports coupe. So same goes here. Grab all of these, make sure you are se uh, selecting the right edges. Dialog box. Now this is a coupe, so that means it only has two doors, so it's more doors. Slide it way back, like so. You're gonna grab these, 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 and this. Make sure the inset is set to polygon. Again, this is just one. Let's go extrude. Go negative. 0 0.5 centimeters. Hit OK. Now to make it like a sporty thing, I'm gonna put like a wing. So that holding shift, Z, clone part of the mesh. Now like that. Holding shift down. I'm gonna scroll it down. Holding control will convert it to vertex. So my selections are now in vertex. And of course, for downforce, it should be facing like this to get that downforce. I know the car isn't very aerodynamic as it looks like, but it's close enough. I'm gonna attach the wing here. Of course, this is like a sport thing going on, so we're going to detach this one. I am going to clone. The other side, touch, touch. Now I'm just going to do some minor adjustments. Alt Q to isolate that model, which is this one. Mm, next, that will be more aggressive looking, mm, like so. I'll be more this one. Of course, I need to adjust this one to add that, you know, flow. So now for our hatchback, we are going to do this. We are going to control backspace this one. Just going to pull this up. Backspace that one, Alt Q again to isolate that one. I am going to control backspace this one and this one. It's now like that. The car is too boxy, so let's add curvature. Let's bend it a little bit. Add aerodynamics. Mm, grab this, grab this, connect. There you go. Mm, hmm, I wonder. I'm just going to use this, this one. Yeah, I'm just going to use that one. So I'm going to use cut, cut, like so, cut, cut, right click, uh, maybe I'm just going to remove this. Add that window, I'm just going to make it into a, probably a three door hatchback. It's a window, this one, oh, uh, nope, there we go, there we go, inset by polygon, inset by one centimeter, hit OK, now this one's not going to be a polygon, it's going to be a group, inset in a group, one centimeter, hit OK, click, 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 
it's going to be extruded uh, point 0.5 that's our modern hatchback Now for the last one, which is my favorite one, is our old school hatchback. Of course, this is going to be the 86. The Toyota Corolla B. So, so remember, just like a little nudge here. Little, little nudge. Grab this, pull it up. Yoink like so like that hmm that's kind of okay grab this pull it a little bit backwards Grab this, polygon, one, now it's going to be extruded, again negative, 0.5, there you go. Now to add that iconic, um, Do it like that, and a little bit nudge here. Again, poly. Hmm, I wonder. I'm just going to insert. that probably make it one suffice oops too much okay mm like so again if you want to duplicate um with that pivot point just touch that Detach and mirror. Ta da! And that is your A86 Trueno. So that's how easy it is to build cars with just a little bit of boxes, a little bit of extrusion, a little bit of inset. All of this is pretty easy to do with a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, and a little bit of imagination. Thank you for watching. This is Urban Fox Gamer signing out.